Look, you know, sometimes you just need a nice relaxing environment to pinch the hog, you know what I mean? Like, to really just have a poo with a view is one of life's most underrated things. I stole that from the comments. This is, you know what? I'm very shy. You know, it's hard for me to use public restrooms, but I gotta admit, this would be the crap of a lifetime. And I would take it willingly and with a smile on my face and a wink from my butt. Hello everybody and welcome to Calvis! My name is Lumo, revealing too much personal information yet again. And today we're looking at r slash a subreddit dedicated to images that just make you think the thoughts that you wouldn't normally think, but then you thong the thinks to think the thonks. Let's just get right into it. Oh my god, it's the little round boy. And now he's even rounder and he's duplicated into a friend. He's now two small angry friends. I don't know why I love the no tack me angry cat so much, but I love. I'm full of love. I just want to pick up the little kitten and give it a good old cuddle. I love this cat. Also, imagine what a nightmare it would be if your cat could actually reproduce via mitosis. Like what, what would the process of even fixing that be? How would you stop that from happening? That is, actually, you know what? I need ability. There's no howling. <laughs> I, it, uh, is this what happens on OnlyFans? I've never subscribed to any of them for personal reasons. Um, is this what you guys are paying for? Is this like extremely niche stuff that you're after? I mean, like if it is, like uh, that's something good for you. You're living your best life. But what what is this supposed to be implying? Is it supposed to be like like a like a vegan meat is murder kind of thing? Because like. Call me crazy, but I don't think hunters eat the raw meat unless it's their first kill, and even then it's just a bite of the heart. This seems a bit, I don't know, gratuitous? It's weird. I don't know how to feel about this one, which I guess makes it extremely effective performance art. It says hope. I can read that it says hope, but the thumbnail made it look like a face. It looked like a face in the thumbnail, so if I... Yeah, if I drag the image, I can see a face in this, but it also says hope. I... That's... That's so good. This is such a good optical illusion. Holy crap. I love this. Mm. Wow. Wow. Now, as a man versed in this kind of topic and gear, um, I find this extremely hard to look at. This is... In no uncertain terms, the reason God left us and has wept to this day. Um, I don't want to imagine, I don't want to imagine what Crocs would churn out for this market sector. I am playing very dangerously around YouTube's bots here. I'm being very careful not to say something weird, um, but everything about this actually feels like a crime and heresy. And I'm not talking like normal heresy. I'm talking like Horus heresy. I'm talking like we might need to exterminate us. Earth's had a good run. Um, long live the emperor. I guess this is our time because someone had to go and make this. Someone had to go and make this. I'm very impassioned with how much I hate this. <laughs> Look, there's nothing wrong with Tyler One getting the boys together to sit in like some kid's pool. Oh. My God, everything about this image is amazing. The kids look like they're crying and about to aggress. These dudes look like they are having potentially the greatest day of all time, which uh, big fan, y'all living your best lives. I just really wanna see the kids make the first aggression. I wanna see them like win their pool back through conquest, blood and glory. Give these kids a three-part cook deal to take back the kiddie pool. That is all I am after right now. Let me let these children become the heroes they need in this moment. Mm. Speaking of spot, it's a duck. Oh my goodness, I looked really fast and I thought the duck had little wheels. I was very excited for little wheel duck, but just normal duck, also okay in my book because I love him. I want to pet his little quacker's head. Oh, he's such baby. He's so good. He's so good. I want to touch him. Mm. Zink. I almost said zinkies and joinks. It's jinkies and zoinks. Man, not not opening this post strong. This what? Well, there's so many, so many things on Google Maps that just don't make sense because people specifically put them in there to not make sense. This is definitely one of them. I really want to know why there's so many mystery mobiles. Like that's mystery number one. Why there's so many mystery mobiles. But two, is it different generations of mystery mobile? Like is this different show designs? Cause the front one has a different design from the middle one and the back one has a similar yet also different design from the other two on it. So like, 
what is this just multiple generations of the mystery machine? Because if yes, that's neat. I really liked Scooby-Doo as a kid. Like even the old like janky Hanna-Barbera ones, but I don't know. I feel like Scooby-Doo, whenever he hits the silver screen, doesn't go good, never goes good. Except for that one time in which Shaggy became God himself. Um, not even Shaggy, just the actor. Uh, that was a good movie. But otherwise, no, they haven't been uh, ph phenomenal to say the least. <clears throat> okay, okay, it's time for me to fess up. I actually really love urban exploration stuff. I'll never do it. I'm too much of a, a, a sad little baby man. But I find these abandoned images to just be so goddamn cool. Like so much just real estate and structures are just abandoned. And like there's guards paid to keep people out because it's a safety hazard to be in there. But then you have cool stuff like this, the degradation of what man has made reclaimed by nature. It's cool. I've seen people like exploring Chernobyl, like in areas that they're not supposed to go. And these people are basically getting growths on their body to take these cool photos of places that the world was forced to forget. I think that's just so goddamn cool. It is so goddamn cool. Do not trespass, however. I'm stating that for legal reasons. Do not trespass. Hmm. Oh, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. It really depends on the person who you have delivering your packages and delivering the mail. Like, uh, in my my new place, um, we have a mail room, which is very nice. I love having that. But depending on the person we get delivering our mail, the mail might never make it there. They might just drop it on the steps of some random building in the area, which has happened. They might just drop it off at one of the myriad entrances, which has happened. There is a mail room and signs on every door speaking of the mail room and how packages should go to the mail room. And I have ordered maybe 20 things in my new apartment. One of them, only one of them has made it to the mail room. It is comical. But at the same time, these people are on super tight roots. So I can't blame them for not being, you know, arsed too much because yeah, they're on a quota and they only get to go home when, when their trolley is empty. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It's kind of tacky, kind of gaudy. This car looks like a Cars 4 villain, which um, I mean as an insult. That is a derogatory sentence. But I do have to say, having like an actual light built into the hood facing downwards so I can, you know, maybe check if something goes wrong at night. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of that. The rest of this, though, um, good for you for having a hobby. Good for you. <laughs> I want to know what the obsession with these sharks is, because this is not something I've only seen on the internet. I have friends affected by this. I don't know what the, the deal with the shark is. Can someone elaborate to me why people are obsessed with the stuffed shark that looks so sad? Why he looks so sad? Why? But man, I really didn't want to see a shark with a booby window made out of rope. Really just not on my bucket list, if we're being real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, all, of all the houses that I lived in growing up and all the houses that I visited, it feels like the wiring in old houses was made by like some trickster God who simply wishes suffering upon the world because they're like, okay, so my buddy's house, he had a light in his living room, okay? A light in the living room and a switch in the kitchen on the wall opposite the living room turned it on. So that's a good maybe 14 feet of walking to turn the lights on in the living room. But that switch's power was controlled by another switch which was in the hallway when you come in the house. So you had to walk all around this house, hitting switches to turn on three light bulbs inside the living room. Why? <laughs> that's really cool. I wonder if that's actually a painting, a render or forced perspective, but that's, that's super neat. That's super neat. That does look like a painting actually now that I'm looking at it. It's probably a forced perspective, but still super cool. Super cool. I love that. 10 out of 10. Nice job sprucing up your city. Ha, ah, yes, my greatest fear. I don't think there's much I can say about this besides just my absolute hate. The concept that you have forced in my mind of all of my friends coming in my fried egg with spoons is going to infuriate me to no end. That's my fried egg. I fried it myself. You know how hard it is to get the whites at a good consistency? You don't appreciate the art of my egg. I will. You won't. You're coming at it with a spoon. Why a spoon? You're gonna scoop out the whites and leave the yolks, you disgusting troglodyte? No. No. My egg. Get away. Mine. 
And that's all the time we have for you today on Calvis. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and maybe share this with a friend who could use some good old fashioned thought provoking imagery. If you want more r slash hmm, there'll be another one popping up in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Lumo, and I hope to see you in the very next Calibus video. Have a great rest of your day.